Alex and everyone's favorite bird. Archie. Archie. And everyone's favorite bird, Archie. <laughs> Okay guys, sorry I had to change my top because that blue one that I was wearing kept falling off my shoulders and it was so annoying. So there's an update for you on that pretty little thing top. This is another episode of Your Weeby, not to be mistaken with You're a Weeb, which I am. You wanted it, I bought it. So I asked my followers on Instagram, you have a $70 hypothetical budget at Romwee, I want you to go on, pick an entire outfit head to toe. I'm going to randomly choose a whole bunch of the outfits and buy them. So here they all are, we've unboxed them, it took a little while but it's all been sorted into its piles. Okay, I'm going to do a poll, I'm going to put everyone's usernames and I'm going to get you guys to choose. So I'll put a poll up here, so if you click there, it'll have everyone's usernames and then you can choose which outfit is your favourite and then whoever wins after let's say a week, I'll, I'll wait a week and then after a week whoever wins I will send them a little gift to say thank you for choosing the winning outfit. Where's Archie? Wh where's Archie? <laughs> Almost left you out. Are you gonna stay? Are you gonna watch all the outfits? Are you gonna come chew on your favourite ones? Go over there. <laughs> Here it is, his outfit number one. So I am actually quite in love with this. The skirt is very, very short for me, but it does have built-in shorts, so that's really nice. The shoes are extremely comfortable. They're a little really tiny bit tight. I did choose the larger shoes on the side, but they're a little tiny bit small, so you'd have to size up in those. I've never worn round glasses like this before, but I think they look really cool. I actually really like them. The top is super cute. I love the little <laughs> I love the little elephant on the top. The skirt feels absolutely amazing. The quality is fantastic. But like I said, just the tiniest bit short. And for me, I'm five foot eight, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear this out in public without looking a little bit ridiculous. I forgot to do my disclaimer. There's a bird over there. That's my bird, Archie. He makes noises. Don't watch this video if you don't like bird noises. Thank you. What do you think of the glasses, friend? Do you like them? You don't like them. What about if you put on the glasses? So we have a top, a pinafore, shoes, a backpack and a hoodie and also some little pink pom-pom earrings. Now this pinafore fits really weirdly. It's very tight around here but at the same time it kind of hangs a little bit loose. There's no pockets. These are a lie so maybe I could sew some pockets into it or something but I don't know if it's really worth the effort. So I'm not quite sure how this sizing works. It's a tiny little bit short for me, but I don't think it's too short. It's not so short that I wouldn't wear it, but it is, ooh, that's, that's a bit short. Mum wouldn't approve kind of short. The t-shirt is made of this really interesting kind of like scuba-y sort of material, but not that thick. It's got this little milk, oh no, it says banana. It's got a little banana milk carton there. The backpack is gorgeous. The backpack's not made very well in terms of the clips. The clips feel extremely cheap, like they're probably going to break. But you know, you don't really expect Louis Vuitton for Chinese wish sort of prices, so I can allow that. The shoes are velvet and they're really, really weirdly comfortable. I didn't expect them to be as comfortable as they are, but they're amazing. I don't think they quite match in colour. If they were just the tiniest little bit lighter, then I think it would match perfectly. Let's try on the hoodie. Can you go there? Can you go there? This hoodie is extremely soft. I'm really happy so far. It's quite thin, so it's not, not that warm. The cat is a little bit of a derp, but 
still adorable. I think if you like cats, then it doesn't matter. This is a whole bunch of different shades of pink right now. I mean, we've got like a dark, dusty pink here, kind of a dark, dusty pink here, a different shade, and then a light sort of pastel pink. So for me, this outfit is the tiniest little bit too pink when I wear the cat hoodie, but without it, I love it. Very, very cute. So the earrings, when I was putting them on, it took a very long time because I have acrylic nails, but one of the little back plates actually broke. The back plate completely broke in half when I was putting on the right earring. Thought that was interesting. There's a bow at the back, which I think is gorgeous. I think that's absolutely adorable. Really, really happy with that. So well done, uh, Chloe May. because I love this. So this outfit was a pinafore, a cropped stripy rugby shirt, hair clips, a hair tie, and some really, really cute shoes. Now, I've never worn those sort of hair clips before, so I just kind of stuck them in my hair. I'm not really sure how they're meant to be worn. This hair tie is adorable. It's really soft. I have another one of these. But but it's really, really big and it looks huge on my head. So this hair tie was very appropriately sized. These shoes, I think they're so gorgeous. They're the tiniest bit too small for me because they didn't have my size, but I feel like they'll kind of stretch out a little bit because they're just this kind of stretchy plastic material. Archie's being bad and screaming. This pinafore is made of some sort of, kind of like fake uh, corduroy, corduroy, I think that's what you call it. This top, now for anyone that watched my misguided haul the other day, I bought rugby tops then and they were a lot shorter than what this one is. I know you can't really tell, but this one rugby top comes down to there, so it's perfect. And I really like these sort of loose sleeves that cinch in at the wrists here. I love the big collar. The only thing that I don't like about this outfit is the hair clips. I don't think that they're the right shade. I think they would have been really cute, but most of this is kind of like a really pastel y colour, but the hair clips are really bright. They're like bright purple and bright pink. Now, how much was this one? This outfit was 30 US dollars. So, Confetti Pal, you nailed it. You got shoes, pinafore, top, accessories for $30. Perfect, well done. I this is, uh, I'm, look, I'm so, I'm aesthetic AF. Look at me. Alright guys, well I put on this outfit, looked at myself in the mirror and I screamed. I lost it. I love it so much! So you might recognise this one. This has already featured this little pinafore. Cornflakes XS suggested to me a bag, some shoes, the pinafore, the top, and some really really adorable bow earrings. So first things first, these shoes, size 40. Phenomenal. They fit me so nicely. Look at this beautiful chunky heel. They're so comfortable. The toe is so dainty and gorgeous. The pinafore is... I've already said I love the pinafore. It's really cute. The only thing I don't like about this is that the pinafore strap covers up this beautiful hummingbird. So there's this gorgeous little hummingbird embroidery on here. This shirt, the quality is amazing. It's so like thick and luscious and beautiful. And these earrings are absolutely gorgeous too. I'll show you some close-ups. The handbag, look how cute this is. Um, it's got a zip that opens and it's actually made quite nicely. I didn't think it would be this nice. It's it's got a leopard print inside and it's got a little strap and a mirror. So um, it kind of almost, it's solid. So it's like a makeup case almost. Cornflakes XS, you've stolen my heart. You styled this incredibly. I'm so excited. I'm gonna take this whole outfit to Japan with me and wear it. The shoes, the, the shoes and the bag and everything is just so cute. And I love the fact that it's a cat because you know, cats are adorable and a bird because you know, the bird stays. So even when I'm in Japan, I can appreciate birds and have a little hummingbird on my shirt. So I'm dead. This one, I think this is my favorite so far. This outfit was $50, which, you know, I think for how happy I am with it and the fact that it's so versatile and the shoes are made so nicely and so is the bag, I think $50 is fine. Okay, 
Okay, now this outfit, I think it's absolutely adorable. So with this one, we have shoes. You might recognize these shoes from a bit earlier. There's fishnet stockings. I don't know if you can see, but there's fishnets. There's a cute pinafore dress. There's a little bardo top, a star necklace, and star earrings. So there's a few things. Oh, oh, and a denim jacket too. Now this is a $50 outfit. So congratulations, Katie Kuto, because $50 for this many things. I think that's pretty good. Well done. There's a few things I have to say about this outfit. I forgot to mention before about these shoes. The shoes feel very plasticky, but they're still very comfy. And I think that the platform is a really nice height. I think if you can keep them this nice pristine white, they're really adorable. They're so sporty. The fishnets, now I'm five foot nine and they don't come up all the way. They actually kind of stop down here. <laughs> they're really, really short but they're really nicely made. They're probably the best quality fishnets that I've ever tried on and I've bought them from Boohoo and from ASOS and from other sides and they haven't been this nice. These feel like they're really nice quality but they're just the tiniest bit too short. This pinafore dress, it's so cute! I've never worn a pinafore dress like this before. Actually, there was that one that I bought from ASOS. Do you guys remember that? And a whole bunch of people left comments and they were like, Alex, that is so expensive. I think it was $80 or something like that. And they were like, not worth it. So then this one was suggested to me instead and I love it, it's adorable. It's not made of any good material, it's quite thin, but I think that the shape of it is gorgeous. It fits me really nicely. The little Bardo top. Now I'm glad that this pinafore has this part here because the top is white and it's extremely sheer. So you can see my bra through it but I think it looks really lovely underneath this. this. The necklace is very solid. It's really, really heavy, so I'm very impressed with that. The earrings are really weird. I think there's something wrong with the earrings. I didn't even notice on the website, but they don't clip up. Like I thought when I looked at the photo, I thought that they probably clasp shut, but they don't. They're just, they're just straight across. And that part doesn't move at all. Aside from the earrings being really weird, I think this outfit's adorable. Pink and white is my favorite color combination. I love it so much. So this one is, oh, I haven't tried it on with a jacket, hang on. That's really cool. The denim jacket is really, really oversized. I think it's meant to be, because I'm pretty sure this was a small. I think it works really, really nicely with the white and the pink. It just kind of breaks it up a little bit, adds some contrast. Oh, it smells like rubbish. Yuck, Ugh, this needs to be washed so bad. It's so, it smells foul, like rotten vegetables, that's what it smells like, but, oh, now I have to take it off. Oh, God, oh, that stinks so bad, but it looks really nice. So, $50 for this outfit. Well done, Katie Kuto. I love it. I think this is adorable. I'm so excited about this because she even went to the extent of drawing some fan art for me wearing this outfit. So I'm really, really hyped to put this on. All right, now here's this outfit from Lemon Tart Chun. So there's a few things I have to say about this. One, you get lots of points for continuity because you picked a cat backpack and cat stockings and they match perfectly. You picked a lemon handbag. Your username is Lemon Tart Chun and you also picked a yellow headband that matches the handbag. So points for continuity there. The hoodie thing has cat ears on it, I think. Let me check. Yes. Yes, it has ears on it. So <laughs> there seems to be a very strong theme here. I think this outfit is very cute and I feel a lot like a Pokemon trainer wearing it. Oh, I I forgot. The shoes match this. So you, you really went above and beyond with your matchy matchy. The t-shirt actually has white at the top and pink at the bottom. There's a little bit of a shame that the pinafore covers that up because it just looks like a white t-shirt, but I think the t-shirt will be great to wear with other things too. Now let's talk about quality. The stockings, the quality is phenomenal. They're extremely thick. I always put holes in stockings with my acrylic nails, but these, they were totally fine. The shoes, they feel very cheap, but at the same time they are very cheap, so that doesn't really matter. The handbag stinks like garbage again but it's it's all right it's not bad quality it's probably worth about five dollars that's what I would say the headband that's a really really cute little touch she did actually send me a hair clip too 
there's this little hair clip, but when I clip it into my hair, it just falls straight down. There's no way to kind of secure it in place because the clip itself isn't tight enough, so I can't actually wear that. I seriously feel like a Pokemon trainer in this. I feel like one of those young scout Pokemon trainers that you'd walk past on the side of the road and they're just standing there ready to go, ready to fight, ready to battle. Archie is going to really like this because it's green. The back of this has something on it. It's just kind of a patch, just stuck on the back. The backpack is extremely thick. It's made of some sort of canvasy material and it unpops like that and then it zips. And I feel like this would fit my laptop for sure and it feels really, really sturdy. It feels really strong. So I'm actually very impressed with this backpack. It's got a, a pocket at the front too. That's really cool. Now, I probably won't use this myself because I don't wear black things like ever. <laughs> but I might actually just give this to you, Lemon Tachan, you can have it. This outfit is very, very cute. Let's try it without the, without the jacket. So it could be worn like this, but it's funny. She suggested two bags to me. Now I think that makes more sense. The black stockings with the black cap. I think that's really cute. It's funny, I actually get a bit of a shock looking down and seeing black stockings because I haven't worn black stockings in such a long time. I've always just worn pastel things over the past few years. So looking down and seeing black stockings, I'm like, oh, Whoa, that's, that's a throwback to the past. But yeah, this is adorable. And this outfit was $57. So there's a fair bit in this. So I think you are one of the savviest shoppers. I gave everyone a $70 budget and you got a whole bunch of stuff to fit within that budget. So well done. Oh, and take a look at the artwork. Isn't that cute? Oh, I forgot. Lemon Tart Chan also suggested this necklace too. So this one is a pair of shoes, a pair of socks, jeans, a top, and a hoodie. Now this one came in at about $40, which I think is okay. So first impressions, these shoes, they have these little roses embroidered into them, which is very, very cute. Points for continuity because the roses embroidered into the shoes actually match the little rose that's embroidered into the pink top. These socks are extremely comfortable, they fit really nicely, and they're a little tiny bit glittery on the planet, so that's adorable. The jeans, I was really worried about how the jeans would fit, but they fit really well. They're just the tiniest bit tight around my thighs, and then a little teeny tiny bit loose around here, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this top is kind of like a rain jacket, it's made of plasticky waterproof material, and it's got cats on it. No, 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 no. Not allowed to chew on the cats. And I'll show you the top underneath if Archie will... Oh. I'll show you the top underneath. I'm sorry. I can't take the top off if you're on my hand. So there it is without the hoodie on. And I think that's a really cute outfit. I'm not sure about the shoes because they're white. I think that this could have been really cool if the shoes were pink, but like there's nothing wrong with white shoes, but actually no, you know what? I like the fact that it's white shoes with white socks, but a pink stripe on the socks because that kind of ties in together nicely. So this outfit, I think this was $40. Yeah, this outfit was $40. So I quite like this one. I think I like it a bit better without the hoodie. I think that it's a little bit too much blue with that hoodie and the jeans, but I think that top, oh, I see more cats. Oh, it's got cats, oh, it's got cats on the back. Look, oh my gosh, I didn't realize, hang on. So it's got cats and Korean writing on the back. That's adorable, I love this. Okay, here's the outfit on. I think this is really cool. Now, a few things I gotta say about this one. The shoes are extremely comfortable. They're stupidly comfortable. I can't believe how nice they are. I feel like I'm gonna wear these shoes all over Japan. They have little roses embroidered into the side of them, which is really gorgeous. Actually, no, I think they're cherry blossoms. So that's very fitting because we're going to see the cherry blossoms. Now the socks, they came in a two pack. They also came with black ones as well, but she asked me to wear the white ones. Now, they cut into my thighs really, really badly. It's quite unflattering when you look at it closely. <laughs> That's a little bit annoying. This skirt, this is gorgeous. It's a little tiny bit tight, but I love the little pearl details here on the pockets. And they're real pockets! You guys know that I love pockets so much and they're real, so that makes me really, really happy. This is the same hoodie as the one that Lemon Tart Chan suggested to me, but she suggested a green one. And this is a pink one. 
It's got the... Ugh, Archie, you're making this very difficult for me. How am I meant to show them? Yeah, yeah. Don't scream at me. It's got the ears as well, this one. And it's got the uh, thing on the back. US Army. There's the backpack too. I have shoved this backpack full of stuff just so that it holds its shape. It's not made very nicely. The plasticky material is kind of cheap. But the rivets are cool. The rivets aren't metal, they're just plastic. But I think it's a really cute bag and it's actually quite spacious. Like I think that would hold a lot. Let's have a look at the top underneath, which I love so much. I love the continuity here because we've got butterflies on the bag and there's a butterfly embroidered into the top, so that's gorgeous. And the top also has this detail. It's got the cutout there and it's made of really, really nice stretchy material too. It's got a little cutout there as well. So I think this outfit's really cute. I don't think that I really like the black stripes. I think this would just be nice if they were just plain white socks because I think that the black stripes kind of interrupt it a little bit. But that being said, they do match the dark colors that are on the backpack. Yes, Archie, that's fine. Now this outfit was, I think this was $62. So this one's a little tiny bit more expensive than some of the others, but I think it's very well thought out. I think you did a good job. Okay, so this outfit is really cute. I'm holding Archie because he's just been sitting over there screaming the whole time. I just tried to film a little segment about me talking about this and he just didn't stop screaming the whole time. So basically, I, I love the skirt as you already know. It's the same skirt that I just tried on. The shoes are to die for. They have these gorgeous little stars on the side of them and they're so cute, but unfortunately they're not my size. They're one size too small, but that's the only size they had left. And I can see why they were sold out because they're the cutest shoes ever. The socks came in a pack of four. There was a uh, black, black nude, cream and pink. I put the pink ones on. I don't think she specified which ones she wanted me to try on, but I'm pretty sure that the pink ones would be the right ones. The earrings are gorgeous. They're so cute. And this <laughs> necklace is so extra. It basically, it's a big chain. Like, eh. it's like a big pom-pom, two pom-poms on a really, really long chain. So you can kind of wrap it around multiple times if you wanted to, I guess. Uh, so that's adjustable. But in the photo, I thought it was going to be way smaller and a bit more dainty, but the pom-poms are actually huge. They're really, really soft though, so I love them. And I love the fact that they match the earrings. And I, oh, and the, the top, it's got a little love heart cut out of it there, which is really cute. This is the full length necklace. I think that's kind of crazy. Look how long it is. So it's, very versatile in terms of how many times you can wrap it around your neck. I think that's adorable. I love the fact that the skirt actually has real pockets. <coughs> I love the top. I think it's a really, really cute cut. I'm heartbroken that the shoes are too small for me. They're getting really, really painful because of how small they are. I think this outfit's adorable. I love how the earrings <coughs> match the necklace and it's all pink and different shades of pink. And I think this one was 30 something dollars. So oh. good on you. Well done. $30 is pretty good for this many pieces in one outfit. Well done. I couldn't get the sunglasses or the handbag that she wanted me to get. So I just had to kind of add in something that I thought would be similar to what she suggested and fell into a similar price range. Guys, I'm dead! I'm f***ing dead! Sorry, I am deceased. Thank you, amazing, love it. Meme review. No, I love this so much. Pastel Rose Goth, I think that you are probably in the top two for me. I adore this outfit. So you are the savviest shopper, I think. You and Lemon Tart Chan are probably the savviest shoppers because you guys got the most pieces of clothing within the budget that I gave everyone. So this outfit cost, I think like $57 or something like that. Now, what did we get for that money? We got a gorgeous pair of high heels that have a little
So we got a gorgeous pair of high heels that sort of ribbon up or lace up. They are so cute and they're extremely comfortable and the heel is really beautiful too. We got a beautiful suede kind of skirt, which is just divine. It's got shorts inside it as well, which is great. That's always a bonus because even though it's a little tiny bit short, I can feel comfortable walking around in it because of the shorts inside. This beautiful top, stop. Now the top actually looked a little bit darker on the website, but I don't mind because it's still a really nice color. This bracelet that Archie keeps chewing on. <laughs> leave it alone. No, 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 leave it alone. Stop. Oh, it's hidden now. It's hidden. Actually, now the bracelet does up with a magnet, so it kind of pops off a little bit easily. Ugh. Look what you did. No, get away. Get away! Okay, we're just gonna leave that because look what you did. <laughs> this handbag, that was a big mistake because Pastel Rose Goth sent me a gorgeous, glittery, sparkly handbag, but when I went to buy it, it was actually sold out. So I saw this one and it looked way bigger on the website. I mean, I thought that it was like a, a fake Birkin bag. I mean, it is, it's 100% a copy of a Birkin bag, but I kind of assumed it would be the size of a Birkin bag, but no, it's tiny, but it's actually really adorable. I don't mind. Not that I could put anything in it. I could probably just put my keys and maybe some money, no phones or anything. You're... What's wrong with you? Stop! Stop it! You just... Just... Shh. 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 We also got a little unicorn keychain as well, which is attached... I attached that to the handbag. Some fluffy earrings and some glasses. I think that this outfit is amazing. I, the glasses that she sent me were, I think that they were tinted pink, but I actually just bought these because I thought, well, I looked at the price and these seem to be a similar style and a similar price. So that's why I got them. And also I've been following this girl on Instagram, Pink Milk Tea Hime. I've been following her for ages and her actual glasses look like this. And I was like, they're so cute. So when I saw these on the website, I thought, yeah, yeah, I'll try those because the ones that Pastel Rose Goth wanted were sold out. So. <laughs> I think that I am going to wear this outfit and I think I'm gonna wear it a lot. I'm gonna wear all of these pieces. I'm gonna wear the shoes everywhere. I'm gonna wear the skirt all the time. This top is gorgeous. It's really well made. No, stop. Oh, Archie just reminded me. There's also a choker. <laughs> yeah, can, can you not? Can you not? Bird! No! So there's a choker as well. I forgot about that. And the earrings. The earrings are so gorgeous too. I love this! I kind of feel like a really stylish librarian. Archie, what's wrong? Please, you're being so annoying today. What do you think of the glasses? Do you like them? I really wish that I'd been able to get the actual things that she asked for with the bag and the sunglasses, but it's funny. Pastel Rose Goth lives in Sweden and I'm in Australia and at the time of day when I went to buy these things she was very very asleep. <laughs> hey! Hey! No! No please! Not the earrings! No! Archie! You need to go. That's it. You need to go. You need to leave. You're banished. You, you need to leave. No! Go! 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 So I think that this is maybe now my favourite outfit. I'm, I'm not going to say for certain that it's my favourite outfit, but it's definitely one of them and I'm going to wear this outfit in Japan for sure. So thank you so much Pastel Rose Goth, this is amazing. And Archie really really likes it too, so he says thank you. What are you doing? What's in there? Show me! Here is the final outfit for the day. So this one was suggested by the Slyest Fox. Now, the shoes, so comfortable. I love them. Again, I haven't been disappointed with any of these shoes. None of them have been exceptional quality. 
but none of them have been bad. Like they're they're all just good shoes, nice shoes. This skirt is beautiful. The, the length is really nice. It's a really nice stretchy fabric. I feel like I could wear this all the time, this skirt. The top has a rain cloud on it. This is the same necklace and the same earrings as well that you've already seen. And this cute little bag. So this bag, the quilting reminds me of YSL. And it's also got a little tassel, just like what they do at YSL as well. This has a silver strap. The shoes have a rose gold little toe on them. I think this outfit's super cute. Now, how much was this? Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. I just brought Archie back because he was chewing on my computer. So this one was $53, this outfit. So I kind of feel like... Yes, it is good because there's a lot of stuff for the $53, but at the same time, I think that some of the outfits were a bit cheaper, but they had the same amount of stuff in them. Mama! You want a ticky, 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 a tickle on the tummy? Look, look at him. Tickle on the tummy. Tickle, 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 tickle. So, yeah, this is the last outfit. Like I said, everything feels pretty good quality. And don't forget, guys, you have to vote. Please vote. And please tell me which of the outfits that you liked the most. I think they're all awesome. You guys did such a good job, everyone that picked outfits. Thank you so much to everyone that sent me suggestions as well. I'm sorry if yours weren't included in this video. I randomly chose a whole bunch of them, so next time I'll... <laughs> I'll be doing this again, I promise. I'll be doing this for Doll's Kill, I'll be doing it for Zaful, Shein. You know, it's funny, most of this stuff has Shein written on the packaging because Romwei and Shein are the same company. Personally, yes, I love to choose clothes, but I kind of feel like you guys watch my videos so I feel like I should be showing you things that you want to see. So that's why I always ask people to send me the outfits that they want me to buy because I just think that you know, like, what's the point in me just showing you clothes I like? I mean, yeah, you'll probably want to see my suggestions, but what about things that you want to see? So that's why I'm doing this. You guys on my Instagram, you have such good style, such good taste. I've, I've loved every single one of these outfits. Well done to all of you. I normally say, what should I keep and what should I return? But I actually had these boxes sitting in my car for like a month. So I've definitely passed the returns date. I'm sorry, I know. I've passed the returns date, so what do you think I should keep and what should I sell? And also, how would you style some of these things? Maybe you can leave comments down below and say, the skirt from the sliced fox would go really nicely with the top from Pastel Rose Goth. So just let me know what you think. I always love to read your thoughts. Hey, just for those of you that watched my last wish video, I'm actually wearing that sticky bra and it keeps falling off. I actually had to refilm this outfit because I didn't notice but half the time that I was standing here talking, ah! one of the suction cups was hanging out underneath the shirt. Ah! It, it had fallen off my boob and I didn't notice. Ah! It was probably the most embarrassing thing ever and I'm so glad that I wasn't in public when that happened. I don't know how I didn't notice, but it just slipped off my boob because ah! it's actually not that sticky. Ah! And it was just dangling there. Oh well guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'm ah! going... Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. If you... Yes, and you too. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Peekaboo! Because that's where you'll see your weeby as soon as we post it on my story and we'll say, I'm going to do a shop from blah blah. Tell me the things that you want and then I'll pick them and then I'll do them on YouTube. So let me grab Archie. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We really, really appreciate it. Keep an eye out for our upcoming videos in Japan. I'm not sure how often I'll be able to post, but I'll try and post as much as I can while I'm over there. So don't forget, catch up with us on Instagram. We'll be on there every single day, Dan and I, while we're in Japan. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know we have to leave Archie behind. Archie's going to stay here without us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone that sent in outfit suggestions. Don't forget to vote on the poll and let me know which outfit that you like the most and whoever wins in one week after I post this, I'll wait a week and then a week after I've posted it, I'm going to pick a winner and I'm going to send that person a gift.
Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!